Hi there. This video is going to be about stoichiometry. Um, this word is a pretty key word to what we're working on in chemistry. And so here what I'd like to do is talk about what it is, or what is it, why is it so important, and how is it done. So by the time you're done with this, I would think each of these three questions is going to be able to be handled. And this looks like Sumo Boy is actually breathing this out, but I think it's, I actually heard him say it, that stoichiometry makes him ganky ganky. So it's pretty exciting. So let's talk about what is it. Stoichiometry allows us to calculate, and calculate is a pretty important word here. It tells you a lot of the activity that you're going to be working with. It allows you to calculate things about chemical reactions. And what am I talking about for things? Well, if I give you the amount of something in the reaction with that, you'd be able to predict how much product is going to be produced, or how much reactant is going to be needed, or how much reactant is going to be left over um, with a reaction, you'll be calculating things like theoretical yield and percent yield, how much we should have gotten versus how much we actually did get. Um, all of this stuff is going to be able to be calculated. And Mr. Mole, did I tell you that moles are going to be kind of an important piece here? That's true. He actually made an appearance and is very impressed with what we're doing. So why stoichiometry? Why is it so important? Well, chemical reactions explain the ways that matter interacts with other matter. So we're talking about looking at um, just how things work together. And stoichiometry allows us to have these quantitative conversations about chemical activity. And quantitative conversations, Sumo Boy heard me say that, and he said, make sure you remind these guys to practice quantitative conversations for prom. What a delightful thing that you could be talking about. So, how? How do you do it? Three simple steps. First, you want to start with a balanced chemical reaction. I know we worked and worked and worked on being able to do this. This is the beginning skill in stoichiometry. And then secondly, from reading the problem, be able to identify the given and the unknown substances. Given is what you are provided the amount of, and unknown is what you're being asked to find. And then finally, to follow the roadmap. And I'm going to give you a very simple roadmap here. This roadmap is what we call a mass, a mass mass product. I'm going to be given a mass, I'm going to be asked for a mass. And so you take your given mass and I'm going to convert it to given moles. And the given is, again, what you are provided with in the problem. You know the amount of this, so I'm going to convert from grams to moles. Then, using the balanced chemical reaction, I'm going to make a mole ratio, and this is going to allow me to go from the given substance to the unknown substance. I'm going to look at the ratios that are present in the coefficients and convert to my unknown substance. And then finally, I'm going to take those unknown moles and convert them into grams. Very simple process. And I'll talk about these in the next slide. First, I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to start with grams, go to moles. And then this step from here to here, we are going from our given substance to an unknown substance. And then finally, I'm going from moles to grams again, and we're done. So what does this look like? Well, the first calculation, again, if I'm in grams and I want to go to moles, you divide by the molar mass. 
and the molar mass is given to you by the periodic table and that's something we know how to do. The next piece is writing a mole ratio and this may be a new step for you. Um, the mole ratio is going to use the coefficients from the balanced reaction. Okay, So if I'm in moles of A, and A would be what I know the amount of. That's my given substance. I'm going to look in the balanced reaction and I'm going to take the coefficient for my unknown or for B and divide it by the coefficient for moles of A. What's going to happen here? My moles of A will divide out and now I'm going to be in moles of B. And B would be my unknown substance. That's not a difficult step. And then finally, I'm going to go from moles of B and I'm going to multiply by the molar mass of B over one mole of B and that's going to give me my final answer, the grams of B or the grams of the unknown substance. That's not that hard, is it? No, it's not. So, on Monday, when you bring your brownies in, I'm going to ask you what the first step in doing stoichiometry is. And your answer to me is going to be write the balanced reaction. If you do that, I'm going to be able to give you one of these in your notebook or on your hand. Or maybe I'll make it as a tattoo, but you get one of those and that's going to be like a heavenly point. Okay? Thank you.